Hello, thank you for joining me. As you can see, we're standing by the Great Eastern Main Line. That was 90.001, the pioneer of the class 90s, propelling a train into Norwich. Now, the reason we come to this little area here, just beside the track, is this is the old railway line that used to run to Norwich, Victoria. So I'm standing just here on the junction of where the railway line formerly left this one. This was the railway built by the... I think it was the Eastern Union Railway. So what we're going to do, we're going to walk along here and just have a look, see what's left of the old railway to Norwich Victoria. Now, you can see down there, it's kind of become a path. So that bit of path technically isn't the old railway. That's, is that another train coming? I think so. It's a class 170. So, um, yeah, as you can see, if looking that way, this is the old railway. And that down there is the path that takes you off the old railway down to the road. Now it looks like it's fairly well used with people walking dogs. And now I'm going to go down this bit here. I'm not sure if there's going to be another way down. And um, we're going to walk along. So technically now I'm coming off the formation. The trap bed is up there. So I'm going to walk along here. And um, you can see the old embankment there. And just have a look. And I'll tell you a bit about the history of this old railway. Because... Um, I don't know, you may or may not know, Norwich once had three railway stations. Today, it only has one railway station, Norwich Thorpe, um, which is obviously the station where all trains from all former railway companies go to. This railway station, though, this wasn't one um, which had a particularly long life as a passenger service. It opened on the 12th of December... 1849 by the, I think it was the Eastern Union Railway, if I'm wrong please correct me and tell me, so I'm just now coming back onto the formation you can see ahead but it didn't last particularly long, it closed to passengers in May 1916 so quite a short life it had, but it did carry on became the city's main goods depot and um, it eventually closed to goods in 1966 and then, even after that, the railway line carried on as um, a coal depot. So trains up until 1986 would have come along some set part of this section of railway. So um, we're just in a suburb of Norwich, probably about a mile away from the city centre. So we've left what's now the Great Eastern Main Line behind us. That curves off that way and then round that way into Norwich city centre. And we're now just walking through the suburbs of Norwich and there's, um, there's a bridge coming up and we're going to see what else we can find. I don't think it's going to be, there's going to be too much else to see but I just wanted to show you where the railway started and um, what there is to see. So I think most of the way up to the site of the old Victoria station is intact. Unfortunately now on the site of the station is a Sainsbury's. I believe all the station buildings have been demolished so unfortunately there's nothing there. No railway armour to see or railway memorabilia but if I find something then I shall either post some pictures or record another video. And um, yes, there's the bridge there. The other railway station that once served Norwich was Norwich City. That was the old Midland and Great Northern Railway. I believe, and that ran to the north, which is also a footpath, so that's possibly a future subject of a video. I believe it's quite a long footpath. This one's only about half a mile, just from the Great Eastern Junction to um, the station, so that one, I might have to do a few videos to show you that one, but this one, we can do it. I'll just show you the best bits in just this video. As for the um, Midland and Great Northern, I'll talk more about that when I get around to doing a video on that railway but um, what's now the North Norfolk Railway that I believe was originally Midland Great Northern and part of the national network that was once Midland Great Northern is Cromer to Sheringham that is also former Midland Great Northern just noticed um, whether they're left over from railway days some old wooden steps that looks like the sort of steps you may have got coming down to the railway well I think now after that bridge it's going to be a bit the same all along here so I think I'll, um, and it's also starting to get dark, so I think I'll stop the video here because there's not going to be much else to see. But I hope you enjoyed that video, just to show you a bit of a 
short old railway line in Norwich. So thank you for watching. Goodbye.